Let's take half of the car and make new one. Well, she's certainly not going that way. Let's add another car. Let's saw it up. We only need half of it. Well done. Now let's glue it to the other half. Well, let's test it. Wow! The car is going! Oops! Something went wrong! Okay, we'll fix that! Let's make a wooden frame to stiffen the car body! and also make wooden wheels. Well, let's test it. Let's see if he drives through the obstacle or not. Yeah, he did it! Oh, no! It's stuck! Let's improve our car! I make a roller and install it! Cut the pipe! I make plugs. Done! Install the roller on the car. Let's see how it works. Oh no! The roller didn't help with the obstacle. Hmm, what's to come up with? I'll make caterpillars for the car. Install 2.5 LB wheels. Let's take LED strip as the material. Insert wooden sticks for bonding.
done. Let's install the Caterpillar on the car. And let's check it out. The car moves very confidently. Cheers! The car ran over the obstacle. High obstacle test. Well, the height of 4.5 inches is insurmountable for a car. Let's make the next upgrade. I dismantle the car frame. Let's make the wheels bigger. Done. Let's also add front wheel drive. Connecting the wiring. Oh, the caterpillars are coming off. Let's make limiters. Okay, let's test it. Oh no! The car flipped over. Okay, then let's do rollover car. Let's look at how it works. It's perfect! We made an all-terrain machine! Did you like the video? Like it and subscribe to the channel to watch many other cool crafts!
Ascou. mini bus you could fit so many mini figs inside it wait you can actually open it you actually can fit things inside that one things are getting serious the car is out of its original packaging who knew getting a sunroof was so easy why did the manufacturers use so many extra parts it can be the spidey mobile he makes such a good hood ornament it's time for car waxing extreme edition Starting with the fact that we're actually using paint in As you can see, watching paint thin is a totally different experience than watching it dry. Does anyone else have the sudden urge to peel it off? Silver cars are always in style and apparently don't need too much paint. A car washing vat just pays for itself with rising car wash prices. Who knew that paint was so hard to get rid of? This takes three different cleaning methods. In 
in the end, it better be so clean that you can see the reflection of people in the next car on it. <laughs> when he's done with this one, he should try it next with a Silverado. Learning to smooth out those dings and dents off your car is just a real time and money saver. Unless, of course, you want your car to have that lived-in look. Let's make it big enough for some monster truck wheels, and then enter it as a monster truck. After all, for someone who likes tearing cars apart, that's practically the point of monster trucks. They really should make derbies or races for toy cars. All the fun of a race with half the cleanup. On second thought, cutting up the car for scrap metal really cuts out the middle metal. Now remember kids, you shouldn't practice on your parents' car. Or at least ask first. He seems happy with the result. The car's always open when there's no door. Come on, spare parts. There's a pair of fuzzy dice when you need them. How much is that even worth, anyway? Oh, it's el pollo amarillo to the rescue. Finally, a working door. Now, if it was only attached to a car. Glue and paper clips, just like how the professionals do it. With doors like that, a whole family can fit inside. But they'd probably like some seats, too and cup holders. Apparently, Speed Racer does the same thing in between paint jobs, too. This ain't no job for a paintbrush. We're gonna go full airbrush with this. And that's just the first coat. Green paint? Good. A white car just screams ambulance. Now it's going from Herbie to the mystery machine. It just needs some flowers on it. Time to keep those windows nice and secure. Who knew there were so many shades of green? Ha! Ah, psychedelic, man! It's kind of getting fuzzy looking. Pull it off quick, like a bandage. A cool car is only as cool as its accessories. These blueprints are gonna get into the action. There is always that one square. Mr. Plow would approve of such a, well, plow. Pre-cracked windows are such a time saver. It takes a lot of work to look this banged up. Chicken wire just adds that special something to every car. With windows like this, he'll never need air conditioning. Something is telling me that this car has a need for speed and a need for getting dangerous. That monster truck theory doesn't seem to be too far off now, does it? Good, the wheels are back. Do you think he's gonna add seat warmers? Time for some big wheels. Between the two, Hulk would probably be the better choice for the green car, if he could fit inside cars. It's kind of ironic that the part of the car that wasn't silver to begin with gets painted. To think that most people have to wait for that nice rusty look. 
That's some quick machinery. Time for another paint job. Good. Whoever said white went with everything needs to stop talking. Let's just see how it all looks together. There's the clean way of opening paint, and then there's the fun way. The lines between car paint and hot sauce are kind of starting to blur. Seriously, that looks zesty. And that just looks like Dorito powder. It's always nice to have a place to keep your stuff. This is what happens when you don't wear a seatbelt. And this guy, they probably just found him in the desert or something. If you ever wondered how they got those cars for Mad Max, it was probably something close to this. It just looks so nice and roomy inside. It's perfect for a family road trip or camping, or just cruising. It took all that time to fix the table? A car that opens through the roof. Truly, there are no limits to the power of technology. Something tells me this is payback for the blue car. Come on. There are safer ways to get shiny teeth.
Ooh. <laughs> 